Hello aspirants welcome back to our channel today we have an exciting topic to discuss that will benefit all those who are aspiring to crack competitive exams in this video we will delve into the timeless wisdom of the great ancient indian philosopher economist and strategist the great chanakya and explore some of his strategies and principles for overcoming fear and achieving success in any competitive exam whether you are preparing for uh, the upsc combined geoscientist examination jam get or any other competitive exam fear and anxiety can often become significant obstacles on your path to success isn't it so whether you are a student just beginning your exam preparation right now or someone who has faced setbacks and wants to regain confidence and come back even stronger this video is for you all now get ready to embrace the principles of chanakya and transform fear into your greatest ally so let's get started i know Most of us have uh, grown up listening to remarkable stories of Chanakya. He was a brilliant scholar, teacher and an advisor of ancient India. He wrote this famous treatise called Arthashastra which deals with the various aspects of statecraft, politics, governance, diplomacy, war etc. He was instrumental in the rise of Mauryan Empire under Chandragupta Maurya whom he mentored and guided. Right. Now all of us know he was one of the greatest philosopher India has ever produced. His philosophy is based on the principle of pragmatism, realism and ethics. Along with a strong and efficient administration to ensure the uh, welfare and security of the people, he also emphasized the importance of education, morality and spirituality for personal as well as social development. He gave practical advice on how to deal with the various situations and challenges in life. And that is exactly what we will look forward to learn and apply in terms of our own exam preparation. So, The first and the basic thing that Chanakya had proposed is to plan ahead. Chanakya believed that planning is the key to success. We all live in a competitive world today where strategic thinking is vital for success in any particular field. He said, before you start a work, always ask, ask yourself three questions. Why am I doing it? What may be the results? Will I succeed? Only when you think deeply and find satisfactory answers to these particular questions, you should go ahead with the work. Therefore before you start preparing for an exam you should have a clear goal as to what all exams will you give and how much time you would allow yourself for that along with that you need a realistic strategy which will help you to achieve your targets for the year as well as for the month and most importantly for the day as this will give you the intrinsic motivation to remain calm and in the calm in the long process of examination and to develop a confident attitude right so by applying this strategic planning to your exam preparation you can prioritize topics allocate time effectively and develop a well rounded approach that maximizes your chances of success now the next important lesson chanakya taught us is to work hard one of the key principles espoused by chanakya is the importance of self discipline he believed that success can only be achieved through rigorous self control and consistent effort so how is this relevant for our purpose This is relevant because discipline plays a crucial role in our exam preparation. Now let's understand it with an example. Think about a successful athlete like our favorite Virat Kohli who achieves remarkable feats through dedicated training and sticking to a strict regimen. He constantly practices in the nets, follows a healthy lifestyle and maintains focus on his goals. Similarly, in your studies, maintaining a disciplined approach will help you stay focused and to make progress towards your aspirations isn't it chanakya valued hard work and dedication more than anything else he said once you start working on something don't be afraid of failure and don't abandon it in the middle people who work sincerely are the happiest hence in this long journey of preparation and lonely journey of preparation consistency and sincerity should be your constant companion and therefore my friends you should put in your best efforts and time into your studies without being distracted or discouraged by any obstacles or failures in your path because lack of discipline will only pull you down and i'm sure that most of our, most of you will agree that nothing hurts more than missing our daily or weekly targets so remember discipline is an important ingredient in your journey to success sadamo chanakya believed in the power of knowledge and continuous learning He emphasized the need to expand one's horizons and gain insight from the diverse sources. In the modern context, think about how technology has transformed our lives. 
the advancements in AI has been tremendous in the matter of a year, and that requires professionals to stay updated with the latest advancement in their own fields and engage in a lifelong learning to remain relevant and successful, isn't it? Similarly, as geoscientists, it is crucial to stay aware of new research techniques and discoveries in your own field, as it will uh, enhance your knowledge and give you a competitive edge. In short, you need to be updated with the recent happenings in your own field and it will help you in your interviews and in life as a whole. So that is the key takeaway from the lesson from this particular lesson of Chanakya. Now, uh, the next is a very important yet another neglected lesson of Chanakya which says it's always better to learn from others. It means in the pursuit of knowledge and personal growth, wisdoms com uh, wisdom comes not only from one's own experience but also in learning from others. Right. So he said, learn from others' mistakes as you can live long enough to make them all by yourselves. So now let's understand this with an example. Imagine a young entrepreneur who aspires to build a successful business. Instead of starting from scratch, he seeks guidance from seasoned traders and investors who have mastered the art of commerce. He observes their strategies, learns their negotiation techniques and adopts their best practices. So how does he benefit from all this? By doing so, he saves time, avoids potential mistakes and gains valuable insights that accelerates his own growth. If you have seen Shark Tank India, then you must have observed many young entrepreneurs who are ready to give a share of their company in exchange of guidance from the investors. Right? So that's how important this particular lesson is. Similarly, as students who wish to successfully crack competitive exams, you, should, you, you must and you should seek guidance and feedback from your mentors, peers and experts who can help you improve your knowledge and skill so that you can learn faster and be successful. You should also study the previous year's paper, syllabus, patterns in which questions are asked and trends of the exam to get an edge over the others. And we at Geology Concepts are firm believers of this invaluable lesson of Chanakya. We know how crucial your time is and hence we strive to provide you with the best in the class of mentorship, a material and uh, in the classes so that you and your time are channelized in the right direction and the chances of your success in any of these competitive exams are maximized. And that's how you can learn from others and save you valuable time, right? So moving on to the next important lesson of Chanakya for aspirants like you is to be alert. By staying alert and aware of one's surroundings, we can seize opportunities and overcome challenges. Let's understand this with an example again. Imagine a diligent student Arjun preparing for highly competitive exam like all of you. He understands that being alert goes beyond studying diligently. And it's also not definitely about studying for long hours as well. It's about staying updated with the latest exam patterns, understanding the expectations of the examiners and being aware of any changes or updates in the syllabus. So to maximize his chances of success, Arjun joins a coaching class where he interacts with the experienced mentors and fellow aspirants. He practices solving mock test papers and previous year's questions papers to acquaint himself with the exam format and identify patterns. And finally, the day of the exam arrives, Arjun enters the examination hall with a sense of alertness and confidence because he has worked smartly throughout the year, right? He carefully reads the questions, analyzes them and applies the knowledge he has acquired through his attentive phase of preparation. By being alert, he avoids careless mistakes and maximizes his performance. His commitment to Chanakya's philosophy of being alert has helped him crack the exam and realize his dreams. So, dear aspirants, Remember that being alert is not just a state of mind, but a proactive approach that sets you apart in the competitive landscape. So you need to stay aware, adapt and seize the opportunities that come your way. Isn't it? So this is all about being alert. Now the uh, next most important thing while continuing your journey of uh, to be successful is to stay humble. Chanakya emphasized the power of humility in achieving greatness. How? Because while preparing for uh, competitive exams, it is easy to get caught off in a sense of individualism and rivalry, isn't it? We all do that. But this sense of competitiveness can also be positively utilized uh, in a very positive manner. Imagine a group of students who celebrate each other's accomplishments rather than competing, competing against each other, right? By remaining humble and supportive, they create a positive environment and propels everyone towards success. So, in another example, picture a candidate who enters an interview room with humility. 
she acknowledges her strengths but along with that she also expresses her willingness to learn and grow her humility combined with her knowledge and skills creates a lasting impression on the interview panel by expressing her willingness to learn and adapt she showcases her potential for long term success see competitive exams can be daunting no doubt about that but when you approach it with humility they can become uh, opportunities for growth and collaboration as well by acknowledging our limitations learning from others and valuing the col- uh, collective effort of our peers we unlock our true potential remember it is through humility that we ri- rise above the rest right next in the opinion of chanakya to become successful you need to be balanced in your approach you know uh, in the world of this competitive exams the uh, path to success often seems hard and sometimes very overwhelming as well right however the ancient wisdom of chanakya teaches us that finding a balance in our approach is the key to cracking these exams imagine a student rabi who is preparing for a highly competitive exam like all of you rabi is eager to study for long hours he is also willing to sacrifice sleep his leisure time and even his social interactions however inspired by chanakya's teachings rabi realizes that an imbalanced approach can lead to burnout hinder his progress and will not be sustainable in the long run instead rabi designs a study schedule that incorporates dedicated study hours specific slot for breaks to rejuvenate exercise and leisure activities by maintaining this balanced routine Rabi ensures that his mind remains focused and energized through throughout his exam preparation and during these breaks Rabi engages in activities like uh, playing music musical inter- instruments painting and spending some time in nature and these moments of relaxation actually provides him with a much needed mental break and allows him to return to his studies with a renewed enthusiasm and much more clarity so by maintaining a well rounded lifestyle we nurture our physical and mental well being enhance our focus and productivity and ultimately increase our chances of success isn't it so dear friends let us embrace the power of balance in our exam preparation remember success is not just about long hours of study it is also about finding harmony in all aspects of our of our lives right so by by striking this balance we can navigate the challenges of competitive exams with confidence clarity and resilience so remember to stay balanced during the phase of your preparation and be balanced in your approach last but not the least uh, chanakya uh, teach, teach us to be ethical with yourself and with your preparation he said a man is uh, a man is great by deeds but not by birth right in addition to ethical conduct during the exams chanakya also emphasized the importance of being ethical with oneself during the exam preparation phase this involves maintaining the sense of honesty self discipline throughout the journey of your preparation imagine a dedicated student who practices chanakya's philosophy of self ethics he believes that being ethical with oneself means staying true to one's study study schedule avoiding procrastination which we all do most of the time right and being accountable for one's own progress he sets specific goals breaks down his study plans to manageable tasks and ensures that he follows through with each one by being ethical with himself he creates an environment of personal growth and prepares himself diligently for the exam he also recognizes that true learning and growth can only be achieved through honest effort and deep understanding isn't it so dear aspirants remember that being ethical with yourself is not just about exam success but about fostering a strong character and developing a lifelong commitment to integrity by embodying this principle you build a solid foundation for your personal as well as for your professional growth by doing so we not only pave the path for success but also cultivate a strong sense of self respect and integrity right so now as we come to end of this video remember fear is a natural part of the journey towards success but it is how we respond to that fear that defines our path by embracing self discipline strategic planning continuous learning and ethical conduct we equip ourselves with the tools necessary to conquer our fears and achieve success in any aspects of our lives let chanakya's teaching be our guiding light as we navigate through the challenges ahead believe in yourself stay focused and let your determination be unwavering with that best of luck on your journey to success thank you